So this past weekend, my grandma, my brother, and I had an absolute blast shopping around at a variety of different fun stores. So in this video, I'll show you some of my fun Christmas finds. So one of the first stores that we went to was Menards, which is kind of a home improvement style store but they also have decorations and um, some fun kind of Christmassy things as well. And so we were browsing in the village section and I came across this. So it is a um, kind of a Christmas themed clock tower. It has um, some little LED lights kind of around the front and of course a little clock on the front. Uh, partially what made me really like this is um, it isn't exactly the same, but it just reminded me of the clock um, in New Ulm, Minnesota. And so um, that is kind of what made me really, really like it. Like I said, it isn't the same at all as the New Ulm um, clock because that one, it probably isn't quite as decorative, but, um, but it has kind of like a door Thing in the front where um, some moving people kind of come out when it plays um, every once in a while throughout the day. But anyway, that is what this reminded me of, so um, it made me kind of really like it. But also, one thing that was cute too is the windows and the way that they light up. Because usually with Christmas villages, the windows um, just are kind of cutouts, and uh, these actually kind of have almost like window panes, so I thought that was really, really cool. I also found this cute little bridge. So that is another thing that I'll be adding to um, the existing Christmas village. This other new village piece, I won't be adding to the existing village because there just isn't space for it on the radiator, but I'll probably have it just kind of somewhere else um, in the house as its own little decorative um, thing. And I also saw these. So I got two of these little kind of rustic fence pieces. Um, they have kind of little cardinals sitting on it and um, it's decorated with like a Christmassy garland and of course a little squirrel. So, um, so yes, that will be a fun addition to the Christmas village. And this little brick or stone arch. So Again, another fun addition. I just love kind of the little Christmassy um, accessories for villages because they really, really do add. And I came across these. So these are some kind of frosty pine cone string lights. But I've seen these for a couple years and just decided this year to finally get them. But yes, um, those will be a fun thing to add somewhere in the house. So one thing I wanted to mention about all these little decorations that I found is unfortunately they won't be making it into this year's Christmas home tour video as I've already recorded it, but I am planning on decorating with them around the house still just because I can't wait until next year. But, um, but yes, just really, really, really fun. Another thing I wanted to show you was um, and this is something I just picked up from a small gift shop, but I've noticed that this brand is carried in quite a few different gift shops. So yeah, it is Spruce Multi-Surface Cleaner, and it smells really, really good. The one thing that I really like about this scented cleaner, so a lot of scented cleaners um, can tend to leave a film on surfaces, and I've tested this on a variety of surfaces, and yet so far I haven't noticed it leaving a film. So um, yes, it's just kind of a really fun kind of Christmas tree scented um, multi-purpose cleaner. So then on our way to a home goods store, we um, saw a Bachman's coming up and decided to stop there. And um, so <laughs> we were shopping around in that store and I came across this. So it's just a cute little mouse um, and mushroom Christmas towel. Again, this won't show up in the Christmas home tour. I think I have a different towel on the bar in the kitchen right now. But I think since I've used that other towel for a few years, I'm gonna swap it out for this cute little mouse because 
It's just absolutely adorable and definitely we'll be putting this up very, very soon. So after spending about 45 minutes in Bachman's, we finally made it to Home Goods and I was browsing through the ornament section and I came across these really pretty ornaments. So um, they're basically clear glass Christmas ornaments with kind of a variety of feathers um, in them. And I'll take one out of the box here so I can kind of show you a little bit more what they look like. So yeah, this is kind of what they um, look like. And they're decently heavy for a Christmas ornament. I just thought these would be perfect for kind of a nature tree or just any type of woodsy tree. But even just the way that the top is done on these um, kind of adds to, uh, makes it lean a little bit more elegant. So I think you could even do kind of an elegant woodsy tree with these. Um, I probably won't be using these this year because I kind of have an idea for a Christmas tree that I'd like to do with them. And the house is already decorated. So I think these will be waiting till next year. I like those ornaments so much that I was looking around to see if I could find another box but unfortunately it um, was the only one. So we ended up going to a second Home Goods and I was hoping that I'd find another box there and I didn't, but I came across some other really pretty ornaments. So, um, and all of these I think that I'll be showing you, I think I'm gonna use with um, those feather ornaments, but these are kind of a just an interestingly textured and kind of glitter and bead covered um, charcoal colored ornament set. So, and again, I'll take one of these out of the box. So yes, this is those. So it's a set of four. And um, jumping back to the other set, I believe the other set was $13 and these ones were, these ones were $10 for the set of four. So they were a little bit less expensive, but they're not quite as large either. But yes, I thought these were really, really pretty. Just such a different texture to them. Um, so those will be fun to use with the feather ornaments. I also got a box of these kind of silvery and white ornaments. So they're very, very similar to the charcoal ones, except um, on the top, they have these kind of flower accents, which is just such an interesting detail. And then they kind of have some little gems kind of in with the beads. And I think um, those will be just really cool on a probably elegant woodsy Christmas tree. And then I also got this set. So again, continuing with the very, very interesting textures um, and painting. Now again, like the feathery ones, these ones are a little bit larger. So I think this set of four was um, $13, but just really, really cool. So then we stopped at a Target store and um, there we were kind of just browsing the different deals. And I was kind of looking for some fun napkins for the Christmas table. And I came across these, so there's, um, two different types, but we have this set. They have this neat Christmas um, sweater almost looking print on them. So I thought those would be really fun. And then I also got some of these um, kind of dark green and red plaid napkins. So I got a few different, um, or I should say three sets of those. So then also while I was at Target, I came across these. So um, I just love this book series and I haven't read it for quite a few years. So these are kind of illustrated copies and I thought they would be really, really fun. So I'm excited to, um, to read these maybe on my Christmas break. So um, yeah, those were kind of a fun um, kind of Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> And then we were continuing to browse through Target and my brother and I always like looking at the clothing section just to see if there's anything fun and new. And they had these, so um, this will be kind of a fun winter hat. So I did get this for myself as well. And then they had these gloves 
um, too. So these I thought would match my jacket well. And they're kind of a thinner glove, so they'll be kind of nice um, in replacement of maybe wearing mittens. So yes, those were some fun things that I got. Oh yeah, and a jacket. So <laughs> that was the other thing that I got for myself. Um, the gloves, I think were 25 regular price. Um, the hat was probably, um, the hat was 17. And this jacket, shockingly, let's see here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> this jacket was 35. So I didn't think that was bad. And it's kind of a little, probably too light for winter if you're not wearing like a sweater or something. But yeah, I just thought it was a fun um, jacket and really, really liked the coloring and kind of the metallic look of it. So I think that this will be fun probably for early winter or fall. Um, or if I happen to be wearing just like a heavy Christmas sweater, um, this might come in more handy than wearing one of my heavier winter coats. So uh, yes, those were just a few things that I found for myself. So then we also stopped at a little antique shop um, that's close to us and it has just, I don't know, quite a few fun vintage, of course, Christmas decorations this time of year. So I got a few um, of these super cool Christmas ornaments. So they were only, let me see here, $1.50 a piece and there were four, so I bought all of them, but Yes, they're kind of just like an off-white um, Christmas ornament with some jingle bells kind of around um, with some holly leaves. So they just looked very, very, very classic Christmas to me. And I think it'll be fun to add to, um, to some Christmas tree or even possibly on a wreath carefully. So um, yes, those were a fun little find. So then the last thing that I was gonna show you was something that I actually wrote, and this is something that I kind of order copies of and give to various family members and friends and stuff um, for Christmas because it's a nice small size and I just um, put a lot of heart into the stories in this book. So this is The Little Book with a Big Voice, and it's basically a book full of sentimental short stories with various life lessons. So um, to give you an idea of the style of stories in this book, I thought I would quickly read you one of those. So in the spirit of going to different shops, I thought I would choose this story. So it's not really a shopping story, but um, it'll kind of give you an idea of, again, the style of stories that I have in this um, little book full of short stories. So the story is called Fracture. In a little town nestled quietly in the hillside rested a small shop. Full of many unique decorations, the shop was visited by local residents in search of items for their homes. The shop owner chose each item he displayed in his shop, knowing that someone would love them. He sat in a chair behind the front counter, watching and listening to his customers who stopped in. A section of four large vases were nestled between two shelves. Three vases were beige with subtle floral designs. The other vase was bright blue with vibrant painted scenery on it. Passers-by would regularly comment on the beige vases as they walked by, saying how beautiful they were and how, because they were neutral colored, they fit in more. But as for the bright blue vase, it received remarks that mocked it. Customers would say things like, who would ever buy that? And that belongs in the trash. People laughed at the blue vase because of its difference from what was commonly accepted as household decoration colors. Weeks went by and the beige vases stood tall and proud. They knew they were beautiful because people said so. The blue vase, however, took each harsh word and comment to heart. And with each comment, it cracked slightly. Each time the blue vase cracked, the beige vases would point it out, causing the blue vase to fracture a little more each time. They enjoyed the fact that the blue vase was cracking, because by contrast, 
It made them look even better. A few more weeks went by, and as usual, customer after customer complimented on the beauty of the beige vases and made fun of the blue vase. The blue vase seemed to begin to slouch. It tried to stand tall and proud like the other beige vases, but the harsh words it received daily were taking a toll on its heart, and it was sure that someday soon it would break completely. One day, the shop owner was dusting his merchandise and came across the section of vases. He smiled at the beige vases, but his smile faded when he looked at the poor blue vase. It was covered in tiny cracks that crawled across its once flawless surface. He picked up the vase carefully and took it to his workshop in the back. The blue vase let out a slow exhale, for it was sure its end was near. The man set the vase on the counter in front of a large mirror. The blue vase looked at itself. Those tiny fractures that were once bad feelings on the inside were now faintly visible on the outside. It stared at itself, wishing it was a different color, wishing it was like the other vases people seemed to like more. The man walked back up to the vase, but instead of throwing it away, he began restoring it. You really are a great looking vase, he said while he worked. I know some people can't see your unique beauty, but many people only know how to judge what they don't understand. He continued fixing the vase, but what he didn't know is that the vase was listening to his kind words. I can see your beauty. That is why I chose you for my shop. There are different kinds of beauty. Some types are more misunderstood because of their uniqueness. He picked up a brush and continued. Now, don't tell the other vases I said this, but in my opinion, your uniqueness is what makes you stand out from all the rest. Sure, you may receive criticism from those who don't understand your one-of-a-kind qualities, but that doesn't make you any less valuable than the rest. The man completed his restoration of the blue vase. He walked proudly with it back to the shelf and placed it next to the others once more. The blue vase felt better now, not only because it was fixed, but because of the caring words of the shop owner. The next few days, when people walked past, the blue vase stood tall and proud like the others. The harsh words it received didn't seem to bother it anymore. The beige vases were unsure of this newfound confidence the blue vase had, and it made them a little unsure of their own beauty. One bright summer day, a woman walked into the shop. She walked around for a while until her eyes met the blue vase. Her smile grew as she walked up to it. Oh my, this is just stunning, she said with excitement. Without hesitation, she picked it up and brought it to the front counter. I absolutely love this. It is just perfect. I'm glad you like it. It's definitely one of my favorites, replied the shop owner with a smile. The woman handled the vase with care. And when she got home, she displayed it on her entry table. There, she said with enthusiasm. Now you'll be the first thing people will see when they walk in. The woman bounced away with happiness into another room, leaving the vase to its thoughts. The little blue vase sat there proudly and smiled inside. So yes, that is just one of many little stories in my book, The Little Book with Big Voice. But yeah, so that wraps up this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to have a new video posted very soon. Welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall, and spooky Halloween, to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, 
floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular. 